first method we're going to be looking at 80 through 82s and we're going to be buying these anywhere below 2500 that would be kind of like the best bet if you can find them at 2000 that'd be cool but you can't use power-ups you have to use any elite car it doesn't matter which one it is you want to find it at 2500 or below then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and check these power up prices so the new bose nose players came out and that means that the power ups drops now their power ups are 83 through 84s which means that there's a possibility of us getting those from exchange sets get a player packs and stuff like that so if you look at these prices of the power ups they're at 70k that is a crazy amount of coins. And not only is it just him, there's multiple power-ups that exceeded that price point, which means that there's a very good opportunity for us to go in here and make some coins at very low cost. This is at 63K, but you can see that you could probably sell them for like 50K for a quick sale. But either way it goes, it's super cheap. So essentially, if you are buying 80 through 82s for 2K or below, you're getting stupid profit. And not only can you get these, there is still some power-ups in the first Bose Nose release that is still a good price. Like you can see Barry Sanders is still hitting for 13K, right? So he is an 82, which you wouldn't be able to get that, but you could use that same process with like 80, getting 80 through 82s and doing that that way if, if it makes sense. So you'll be buying gold cards and trying to get these other power-ups, which it's not the most lucrative way because these powers are not going for that much, but you could still do a lot with this. And we're gonna check around the Cunningham's real quick just to see what his price is. And he's at 19K. So same point, you could take 75 through 79s and trying to get 80 through 82 exchange sets and try to get these power ups. So there's multiple ways you can get the cards. You can get the cards from buying them on the auction block, which is simple, I already explained that. 2000 to 2500 i would say go 2500 as a max if you feeling froggy and you want to leap man go ahead and take the 3000 it is what it is it's up to you man the cheaper you get it you know the less coins you'll lose if you don't pull it and it's not even that you're going to lose a lot of coins you're going to be opening these packs in a big boatload so i would say try to go from like 10 to 20 packs at one time don't do one by one if you do one by one you're never going to make any coins i just i'll just put that out there and then the next way you want to get it is you want to go ahead and get these from get a player packs that's a simple way of getting there all you got to do is really open up the packs and you just exchanging those cards all the way up until you get to like 80 and then you also get 80 overalls in these get a player packs and then at the same time you can pull these power-ups out of get a player packs i've pulled these power-ups out of get a player packs multiple times and it does work so essentially you're just going to take these cards and you're going to upgrade them all the way up into 80 through 82s you're going to put those 80 through 82s in the exchange set and then you'll go from there and see what you get out of there another way to get these cards is pro fantasy packs now this is probably going to be more an expensive way but it's not something that you know, you have to sit there and wait and spend time opening packs, finding cards and stuff like that. You're going to pull a lot of 80 through 82s out of here. And essentially, you just want to make these packs as cheap as you possibly can. So you can see we got a lot of power ups. But for the most part, we want to take a lot of the gold cards and some power ups because we want to have cards for exchange sets just in case those power ups are not worth anything. Right. And then you just want to go here and you want to take the least that you get out of here. Here, none of these power ups are going to be super expensive. So we're going to go ahead and take the gold cards. Now, every one of these you're not going to profit on. It's the same process. You want to open up these in a boatload. You want to have like 100, 140 K where you can open up like 10 of these. And then after 10 of these, you want to go ahead and exchange cards, sell cards and see how much you down or up on these uh, pro fantasy packs. These are some of the best packs in the game, in my opinion. If you're going to open up packs, you want to open up these. You're going to get a bunch of elites out of here. And, you know, sometimes you might get that those crazy elites, but you do get these exchange card that go into sets, which is a W, like I said. So let's see if we get an elite here. No elites here. Back to back packs, no elite. So we down 28K, but it's okay because at any point you could go ahead and pull something crazy and get like a 50K pool and boom, you right back in the game. So as far as the exchange sets, man, it's super simple. All you want to do is you want to go to the sets and you want to go all the way over to the right where you go to the player exchange. And this is where you're going to exchange all of your cards. So if you're looking for the first Bose Nose players, you're going to be exchanging the 80 through 82s. If you're looking for the second ones, that's the most expensive. My bad, let me move out the way. You're going to be looking for the 83 through 84. So you could go ahead and pick and choose which one you want to go to. The 83 through 84 is going to be more profitable as of right now. And you're going to get in there at a really low cost, man. These cards are going to cost you about 7,000, 7,500 to get in this. Let's just say you open it up 15 of these packs and they cost you 
7,500 each. You take 7,500 times 15, that's going to hit you for 112K. You, If you pull no power-ups and you pull nothing crazy, bro, you really don't lose no coins. So this is probably going to be 83. Okay, cool. 83 overall, Miles Gaskins. Let's see how much he's going for. I'm not in it for these cards, but at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is, right? So we spent 7,500 on this. We lose 3,000, 3,500 coins, right? That's okay. It is what it is because if you going through this process over and over and over again, when you pull 84s, you basically don't lose no coins. Here's a prime example. You put this man up for 12,000 coins, right? 12,000 coins. That's very generous. His price is 11, 11,750. He'll sell. And then you subtract 1,200. You're going to get back 10.8K. Subtract your 7,500. You just made 3,300 coins. So basically the last... 83 you pull doesn't even exist you feel me so you can see how this process works you keep pulling 84s you're gonna keep you're gonna be good you're gonna be good but let's move on to the next method so the next method is going to the team of the week and cd lamb is just dropped in the game well he hasn't dropped yet but he is dropping today right and you want to go ahead and look at these 88 overall players because he's an 88 overall right so it doesn't matter which one you go to all the 88 overalls go into each one of these sets. You just want to go look at his price. You can go look at his price on the auction block, but I'm going to just look at it from right here. So you can see that all these are going for like 40K. Look at this man, CD Lamb. 88K, 90K, and he's probably going to go up in price. Now, as you guys are seeing this video, he might go down because more people are going to be trying to do this. But still, even if you happen to pull Matthew Wright, you still going to make a nice little profit on this, right? So let's go ahead and look at how we could get this completed. You guys can see that there's a lot of room for coins in this little method right here. This a little small one right here. All you want to do is exchange two 80 through 82s and four 75 through 79s. Now, you if we just want to buy them on an auction block, and let's just say we're doing the same process, 2,500 per 80 through 82, that's 5,000. And these right here, 75 through 79s, you could probably find them for 750, but let's just say a thousand. So let's just say another 4,000 coins, right? You're going to be in this set 9,000. Now let's go ahead and look at the lowest pool you can get, which is an 81. And we're going to, we're going to look at the risk. We're going to look at how much it's going to cost for you guys to do this. And the risk is probably like six, seven K. Okay, cool. These sell for like 3,000 coins. So the risk is probably six K, you know what I'm saying? So if you pull an 81, you lose 6K. It is what it is, right? But let's go ahead and check the 85s because it's an 81, 85, 88. 85s are hitting for 7K, right? So you risk 2K. So basically, the only way you're going to really profit on this, but you're going to profit big, is getting an 88. So for example, if they cost you 9K, once again, you, you spend a 9K each one, you multiply that by 10, you spend a 90K to open up 10 packs, bro. You pull CD Lamb, you instantly profit. Let's just say you pull CD Lamb at number seven, you profit. You pull Matthew Wright, mm, you probably don't profit. It depends on what you pull. If you pull a couple 85s and you pull Matthew Wright and the rest 81, you might break even on it. But still, like I said, this is a process to give you guys coins. Now, that's just from buying the cards on an auction block. You already know that there's multiple ways you can get the cards. Because you need 80 through 82s, you can get all these cards from Get a Player Packs. You can get the 75s from Get a Player Packs. And you can also get those cards from Pro Fantasy. So do the same thing that I told you for all the other cards. It'll be the same process. You just put in the cards in different places. Shout out to Stephen Bell, man. He's our post notification shout out winner. We're going to start doing the post notification shout outs at the end of the video just because I could remember it at that point. A lot of times I'd be forgetting. Also, if you're interested, I got an ebook, man. First link in the description. Banger, you feel me? Slow price. It's $25, but I promise you, you spend that $25, you're going to be able to make coins forever, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.